Hey, what's going on, everybody? It's Portal back with another Madden Ultimate Team video, guys. And today, I'm going to be going over what you guys need to be doing with your coins before the Team of the Year promo. Now, Team of the Year promo was just confirmed today on stream by Krayla. If you guys did not see that stream or my morning video, go check that out so you guys can get up to date. But premise of it, Team of the uh, Year originally, special stream was scheduled for Sunday, but it's really Monday. And the promo does come out Tuesday. So I'm kind of excited. So Monday morning at 10.30 p.m. Eastern Time, 10.30 a.m. Eastern Time, sorry, we will be getting... A pre-reveal, the special stream, probably most of the promo, to be honest, of the Team of the Year promo. So, confirmed fourth. Today's the, what, 22nd? Tomorrow's the 23rd, 24th, 25th, 26th. So, morning of 26th, we will be getting it. So, four days from today, approximately. Maybe a little bit less. But, I'm excited. I'm excited for the Team of the Year promo. It's one of the most fun promos each and every year. If you guys have watched my channel or watching Madden in general, or playing Madden, you know Team of the Year is super fun. Team of the Year is going to introduce... Just about some of the best players at every position on the field. It's going to be a massive content drop with all their overalls being near, if not above, 96, 97 to 98. Now, it's possible that it could just be 96 overalls that power up to 97s again with the two 97s that go to 98. It also could be all 97s with some that go up to 98, 99. Not entirely sure, but guys, there's going to be a lot of coin changing. Probably a massive market crash coming, as well as a lot of players that you did once think that were good or expensive coming down. Now, it depends on the players we get, like I told you. If we get some game-breaking quarterbacks, right, like a Deshaun Watson, that could greatly change the market. Now, I don't know if they give him a good card, but it really just depends on abilities. If Dalvin Cook, if we get him as the running back and he gets uh, the speed that we want, it all, it all comes down to attributes. But at the end of the day, the market will be flooded. There will be crazy team of the year packs, higher pull odds, and a lot of other stuff that will be implemented, which should alter the market. Now, if you guys are new to the channel, go down below. Subscribe to the channel. Come join the family. Give this video a big thumbs up, as always, if you haven't already. Uh, comment down below. Let me know what you guys are doing. What is your one team of the year lock? People are doing this on Twitter with me. Let me know. Who's your team of the year lock? Who's that one guy that you're certain will get a team of the year card? Like, you just know in your heart he's getting one. Comment him down below and let me know who that is. And if you guys need coins, head on over to my reserve and use code Poodle for 30% off. But let's get into it. So, heading on over to the auction block, guys. I'm going to go over team skimming and some other stuff I want to go over. But before team of the year does drop in a few days, you guys really want to be making sure that you prioritize your coin usage. Don't be overspending right now. The last thing, like, if you're playing Weekend League, that's cool. Rock with the team that you have. Do not go heavy spending onto the market right now. Because, like, let's say John Abraham, he's good. But we're going to get a team of the year, maybe Aaron Donald, right? Right end, 97 overall, power 98. That's it. John Abraham, done. Uh, we might get and some, we're going to get new cornerbacks, 96, 97s. Troy Vincent, all these guys coming down. Some new wide receivers. Now, I don't think any wide receivers will overtake Randy Moss, per se, or any of those guys just yet. Because the speed's crazy, but you never know. Uh, running back as well, left end. We will get a left end that's comparable to Michael Strand, more than likely. We will get middle linebackers that people don't really care about. But Aaron Foster, another good example. Um, I believe Dalvin Cook will be very similar to this Aaron Foster card. Aaron Fo Dalvin Cook probably have a 94-95 speed as well. Going to have max that change of direction probably. Going to have pretty good catching probably. Good break tackle. He will be close, if not the same. And he may be cheaper. Remember, if these cards are easy to pull than usual, it will introduce some other options. Also, remember, you will be getting the free Team of the Year player from the solos and the free Team of the Year player from the, um, well, from the set, right? There's a set of tokens and the solos that you're going to be getting when they come out. One's usually auctionable, one is not. So the auctionable will shake up the market, especially when people start uh, getting them. Bo Jackson, Heinz Ward, all these guys should come down a bit. Now, the thing with Bo Jackson is that he is the fastest running back in the game, or at least right up there for it. And the thing is, I don't know if Dalvin Cook will overtake him. If Dalvin Cook, for some way, or if it is Dalvin Cook, if he does end up taking him over as the best running back in the game, all of these running backs will dramatically drop, especially if Dalvin gets a 96 speed powered up. Then that's GG to all the running back market. So make sure you guys are staying up to date with that. There's a few guys that won't change, guys. So just so you guys know, Lawrence Taylor and a few of those guys will not be changing. You know, like the, the super glitchy meta, like Moss, Lawrence Taylor, powered up, Ultimate Legends coming in the future. Those cards will stay fine, but you guys know you guys know the cards. You know the type, Deion Sanders. Um, and then these guys right here, honestly, I wouldn't really be prioritizing these with your coins. With 1.2, 1.5 mil for Sherman, you could cut that into three. You could divide that by five, actually, and get, like, three to five Team of the Year players, depending on how much they end up going for. But let's go over team skimming, guys. Team skimming is the method I've been going over where you take off stuff that you don't need right now, so, right? So let's say right now you have Arian Foster because he's the best back in the game. Or let's give you a better example than Arian Foster. Let's turn let's him back up. Let's say you bought Jermichael Finley, right? Jermichael Finley is a great 10. He's meta. So we have to take a look at the Team of the Year. So who are we probably going to get for Team of the Year? Travis Kelsey. Will Travis Kelsey be better than Jermichael Finley? He'll be slower. That's it. Like, I don't know. Team of the year uh, tight ends, he's going to be too slow. Travis Kelsey more than likely won't be better than Jermichael Finley speed-wise. So there you go. That's You can keep Jermichael Finley because you don't see him being outpaced yet. But maybe Jermichael Finley super expensive. 600 k maybe it's worth selling, right, if you have the LTD one. Because you can sell him right now when the market gets crashed. You do it. So if you believe there's going to be a massive market crash, which I believe there will be, you sell now. 
and you rebuy back later. But if you're a guy that doesn't care about coins, you have a lot of coins, all you really care about is making sure your team's ready to go and you promo stuff, then you don't have to sell them. You can hold them, take the loss, and it's fine. But now another example of team skimming, right, would be Anthony Costanza, right? Left tackle, we just passed him down here. So you see him, he's 550K, 570K. He's the best left tackle in the game, so you've been holding on to him. But you can sell him for 570 right now, and then when Team of the Year drops, they're going to drop an entire offensive line. Non-limited. You will be able to get the left tackle for Team of the Year probably 400K, maybe 500, maybe even cheaper, depending on the overall and the uh, overalls end up doing. So you're going to be able to get a left tackle that's just as good for a less price. And you can sell Casanzo now, but what people like to do is they wait until Team of the Year just drop. So they take Costanza right now, right? They On Tuesday, like, oh, a new left tackle came out, uh, my favorite team, whatever. Let's just say Trent Williams, right? Back back when he used to always get good cards like that. Um, oh, or David Bakhtiari. Let's say David Bakhtiari. He did go out with an ACL tear though. But David Bakhtiari, you're like, oh cool, I want him. You pick him up. Oh wait, I have to sell. Uh, I have to sell my Costanzo. So you go to sell him. He's now 400 to 350k because he was a limited time card, but he's no longer the best, so he's losing value. So now you lo- you lost all that value on him, right? You just lost about 250k or more or less, depending on what you sell him for. So that is why it's so important to team skim before promos. And you have a decent amount of time to do so right now. Do it nice and early because people love doing it the day or two before. If you do it like half a week before like right now, you sometimes can snag some good uh, sell highs and buy lows at the end of this. Junior Seau, another great example. Almost 500K, 450 for a middle linebacker. People don't really care for middle linebackers this year, but we just got Devin White today who's going to be four speed faster than him. I imagine team of the year if we get a decent enough linebacker. Again, it could be like a Kendricks, it could be someone like that or a Wagner where the speed's going to suck. So I wouldn't recommend you go sell based on the team skimming for uh, replacement level, but you can definitely his these all these guys will go down right. So if, if team of the year is ninety six, power up ninety sevens, and then two ninety seven, seventy eights, marks gonna crash. If it is ninety six, ninety sevens, and then ninety, I mean sorry, ninety sevens base for a lot of them, and then a few ninety eights like it was two years ago, like Todd Gurley and Wagner. The market's going to be in for a rude awakening because the thing is, right now ninety six is ninety six are like our peak with ninety sevens just pushing the limit, right? So. If we get 98s, I can go up to 99. Suddenly, the 99s are a three differential from the 96s. So instantly, just about everyone sees 99s and they're going straight for that. There's, oh, I need that new 99. It's, it's the first 99, right? Or the first 98s. So you're going to be like, I have to sell off my 96s. So that 96s are going to, there's going to be a run on the 99s and 98s, which is going to lower the market. I don't think there'll be a 99, but I think there could be a 98. Uh, there will be a 98, of course. So at bare minimum, people are going to go for the 98s and start selling off their what? what? What's the best values right now to sell off, to, you know, make a decent amount of coin back, like chunk amounts, 96s. So 96s will come down. You'll have a great opportunity to buy all these cards at Team of the Year launch. People are going to be opening bundles. And those bundles, they're, oh, they're aiming for Team of the Year players, but they'll pull guys like Barry Sanders. They'll pull guys like, uh, you know, uh, let's go on down. Those are all LTDs right there. They'll pull guys like, Jesus, they're all LTDs. Kevin Mawai, Randy Moss, let's just say. You could pull whatever LTDs are in the packs at that time. There's just so much potential to pull at that time that things are going to come down. And not even just that, you could pull all the Legend set pieces for Eric Weddle. Actually, a matter of fact, Legend set pieces come flying out of big bundles like that. You'll probably pull Eric Weddle set pieces, straight hand, just start building them on the block. And then you start either selling them or rebuilding the players, which lowers their overall set price, which starts lowering their price on the market because people are going to be selling the ones they make. It's going to be a massive run in the market. It's going to be fast. Now, I guess that best uh, best thing if you're if you're competitive, right? If you're a competitive player, like you play week and league weekly, and you love to compete, I wouldn't recommend uh, selling your team. I would recommend skimming. Like I said, like okay, so you know I have Kevin Mawai, but it's just a center. I'll downgrade to a budgety 93 overall center for this weekend league, and I'll sell him for 580k, and I'll buy the team of the year center that probably would be 150k cheaper, right? So you do that, and then when the weekend comes again, let's say you go to the new center, you're like oh he wasn't as good as I thought, but Kevin Mawai is 400k now. I still save money, right? I wouldn't recommend selling. Now, if you're a team that's more like an auctioneer kind of guy, you love to open packs, you love to have fun, but you always like to stay ahead of the game, build a team. Because at the end of the day, some people just play this game to team build. It's, it's a thing, right? So if you're one of those guys, you can go ahead and you can just start selling stuff, right? Or if you have like a two two to three mil coin stack, don't buy anything right now. I don't care what you see, unless it's like a crazy snipe where you're guaranteed to make money. Don't go ahead and do it. Just play the waiting game and come Tuesday morning, you can go ahead and start buying a bunch of stuff like Deion Sanders, probably 450 k or even like, you know, 500K, you could probably find both like 350, 400K. You could probably find Barry in the low, like 300 to high 290 uh, range. You could probably find John Abraham for like low 300K, which Gannon down. You're going to start seeing a bunch of guys dropping rapidly in price. And then you know that the market will stabilize itself when people are like, oh, wait, okay, so team of the year, like, because the thing is, when a new promo comes out, the hype kills it, right? The hype's like crazy. Hype. Doesn't matter what the cards are. All the cards could be ass, but it's team of the year. But after like an hour or so, people are like, oh, these, these linemen really aren't that good, actually. You know what? I'll let them buy those linemen. I'm going to go get myself a Kevin Mawai. Or those, oh, the Stefan Diggs didn't have enough speed. I'm just going to stick with Randy Moss. So people start 
noticing that and then suddenly you see the team of the year players start to drop back in price after their initial ding they go lower and then you see these players like randy moss at 350 300 you know on a discount because of the, the market crash they start going back up in price because people are buying those they're like, oh, i'll stick with them so be the first guy hop on instantly just start checking out all these other guys like these meta guys like moss Dion taylor guys you want to power up that's that's my best advice for what to do with your coins before hopefully you guys comprehended this hopefully it was easy enough to explain well, to comprehend what I explained. If you guys need any more help, comment down below. Let me know, or head on over to Twitter. My link will be in the link. The link will be down below in the description, and you can head on over and DM me on there. My DMs are open. Uh, give me a heads up, and I will go answer you, of course. Yeah, that's about it. If you're new, subscribe. Turn on the noti bell. Comment down below. Like the video, of course. Guys, smash the like button. I've been appreciating all the support. And if you guys need coins, head on over to my reserve. Use code Poodle. I'm out. Peace.